Hexis is back with another video. Today we will be looking at the beast skills and achievements that are good for events like Undead King, Abyss Monster and Fiend Trial. So without further ado, let's go into the beast skills first. So these are my uh, beast skills that I am using for uh, these events. Uh, I'm a mage infantry player, however, when it comes to beast skills, it doesn't matter which uh, which backline or frontline you're using because they are the same for both sides. So we will be looking at the, all both of them together here. And if you see, I have equipped my attack expert, which increases uh, all army attack by 16 point. Well, for me at the moment, it's level 20. So at that level, at a certain percentage, it will increase our army, uh, army attack. So every troop is gaining from it. Then the force expansion, which basically increases your army size and the life source that's for increasing HP of all your troops. So it is applicable to every troop type that you're sending. And in, in these events, uh, we are mostly uh, sending our backline troops, except angels. We don't send angels in any of these events, um, like uh, Undead King and Fiend Trial, but Abyss Monster, yes, you can send angels. They would increase uh, the damage slightly, at least in my case, um, uh, it's only a small increase. And then when it comes to um, the technology of angels, sometimes they are too weak that uh, they are actually doing more harm than good. So uh, test that for yourself. If you are having lower level angels, like I'm already having T11 angels. So it's um, playing a part in that. And there are some in my alliance uh, that are still getting lower damage against the abyss monster even when they're sending angels so this come from the technology level for their angels and also their tier level and the fourth slot is unlocked for me however it's not relevant for attacking monsters um because this uh this slot normally has um at least at the moment we are only having skills that are uh doing a certain amount of damage or taking less damage from a, a certain uh, troop type like infantry or angels uh, or mages archers etc uh, so that's how the the b skill goes and uh, uh, try to prioritize in a way that the attack percent uh, goes one level up then the force expansion goes one level up and hp so go in that order mm, and this is how i did it uh, for beast and of course uh, keep pushing that beast level if you're not yet at level 25 it's a super nice boost uh, for your uh, castle strength uh, that fourth slot it not only increases the beast power but also gives you uh, an extra uh, damage stat when you're attacking other castles all right so now let's look at the achievements the way they are set up for uh, these events um, here we have uh, the Buildmaster, that's for increasing the HP uh, of all troops, so HP boost. It doesn't specify any troop type, which means mm, it's for all the troops that you're sending. And then the Warlord skill, it specifically says, yes, it increases the attack of uh, archers and mages, and depending on your backline, so uh, it applies for both. Then the mage HP is a nice extra boost that have that you have for mage players. Uh, it's not fair to the archer players, but that is how it is now. Then um, the persistent skill uh, or the achievement, which is uh, increasing the attack again, attack boost. So it's applicable to all the troop types that you're sending. Um, and the damage taken reduced when defending is not uh, applying here. And then I have taken the mad scientist achievement so like the achievements for uh, Undead King or, or Fiend Trial. And that's where, keep in mind that we are not talking about Abyss Monster in this case, as uh, here, this is focused on increasing the HP or the hit points of uh, the back row troops. So here, that means your mages or your archers. And when it comes to Abyss Monster, I use um, another achievement uh, instead of the Mad Scientist achievement. Uh, it is uh, the War Machine, where why I do this is because 
This uh, achievement increases the attack of your front row troops. And in Abyss Monster, we are sending all the armies that we have. Uh, since there is no limitation to the army size that we can use there, we can send all troops there. And uh, it is not much, but it is still a slight increase in your in the damage that you're doing because your your front line would still do some damage and you would have a decent number anyways as you will need it for attacking castles and taking enough damage and, and things like that and also a small uh, relief for the archer players here that you can have a slight increase in archer hp as well when you're using this yeah uh, that's how uh, i will do my uh, achievements and v skills uh, when it comes to these events I hope you like the video and if you have any, any doubts or questions or if you have different setups, feel free to uh, put that in the comments below and see you in another video. Goodbye guys.